Hello, <laughs> welcome back to Petra's Caldwin. I'm Petra. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. Um, today we are going to make rotkohl, red cabbage. I promised you that when I made my rouladen, the German rouladen, my previous video before this one here. So, and um, I'm going to show you a shortcut because there are two different ways how you can make rotkohl. Once you can make it from a jar, but then you make it better. That's how my grandma and my mom did it, you know, when they were in a hurry. And um, say, for instance, you know, Christmas season or what, you know, we had a lot of food on a stove and you didn't have time to, to cut the red cabbage and then you have to massage it and then you put it in, in some, some brine to make it soft. Then she cracked open a glass. <laughs> oh, back then it was a can probably more. I was too little, but anyway. So now I'm going to show you what they did to make it even better. It's very super delicious. Maybe down the road I will be making one from scratch, so that way you can see how that has been done. But I'm going to show you what you need in order to get that flavor in. Okay, so just hang on a second. Well, here we have everything you need. Everything you need is right here. So you can pause the picture, the video right there, and that way you got everything down. So you need apple, one or two apple, depends on what size. What type of apple, it really doesn't matter, you know. Um, Mom used, you know, whatever she had at, at, on hand. So then you need some onion. You will have your red cabbage, and I used the one, you know, Deutsche Küche from Aldi, which is very tasty, and there's already apple in it, so they say. I never tasted apple in there, so you know what, I just got it. You need allspice, uh, allspice because there's cinnamon in it, there's clove in it, there are the Wacholder beeren in it, there are little uh, juniper berries in it, this stuff is all in there and that's why you want it. And you need gloves. Now, I use glove powder because I don't want to bite on those because a pain in the ass to dig them out from the red cabbage when it's being cooked and then um, you can hurt yourself. So I'm not using this, but I use them for different other things, okay? And then you need some bay leaves. I use three bay leaves. Now, how much do you need from the allspice and the gloves? I used a half teaspoon of the allspice and I used a quarter teaspoon of the ground gloves, cloves, cl cloves, cloves, whatever. And then you can uh, find it up with some balsamic vinegar, but rotkohl muss glänzen. That's what my grandma always said. And you can use for that butter. Oh, rotkohl muss glänzen means red cabbage has to shine then it has the right texture and the perfect taste. So you can achieve that with butter. But I use my bacon grease. I always save my bacon grease. It's so precious, you know. So you get this extra little um, uh, taste in it, you know, flavor. That's what you want. Um, but grandma and mom, you know, when they made the goose on Christmas or the duck, they saved that fat and put it into a jar and kept it. So when they came out with the red cabbage or were doing something else, that's what they used for shining and for um, frying up, okay? So now we're gonna to go to the stove and I'll show you what the next step will be. Now, the first thing what I want you to do is you open up that jar, like so. Then you take a fork, like so, you dig in and you taste it. That way you know the difference. Or even better, you take a little bit, put it on a plate, and then you can compare it later on what it tastes like, what the difference is, okay? Now that is a very good tip on the side. So I know what it tastes like, so I don't have to do that, but I just wanted to tell you that, okay? So first of all, we're gonna open up the, or uh, turn on the oven, uh, the, the stove on, on seven, I like seven. I'm going to cover this one up here again. So and then you will be using some of your schmalz. We call it schmalz. You can call it Gänse schmalz. You can call it um, um, bacon, bacon fat, you know, whatever. Whatever you have on hand is good. If you are vegetarian and you, are, you don't want to use that, use oil. You can use, um, for high heat, I would probably use avocado oil. Um, now, olive oil has this little side effect. You know, if it's robust, you know, so you have a little extra taste in that, that's something you don't want. But this is um, what you want to do, okay? So you're going to put that in here. So I don't need that at this moment, so I close it. And then you're going to take your, your onions. Now, you have to cut your onions pretty small, and you want to glaze them, all right? Same as your apples. One or two apples, 
and they start getting brown, which is good because that tells me these are organic apples and they are not being sprayed with who knows what, right? So do you want to cut them about this size? Um, don't worry about it, they will fall apart, most of it. And if not, it's nice to see that you have an apple in your red cabbage, right? So now you're going to put it in, oh my god, that smells so good. Mm. Me like. So now you're going to put in a small to medium onion. That would be good, you know. So and then you glaze it. You just glaze it. Like so. Like so. I gotta rescue my toy poodle. She's trapped <laughs> and she's blind. So hang on, I'll be right back. So I rescued her. Now it's time to put in your bay leaves, all right? You don't need to put in your, your ground spices yet, but I want to get a head start on my bay leaves. So, see here? This is what you want. You put that in. Very simple. Put that aside. You don't need it anymore. Then you get your apples ready. Then you put in your apples. So if you have a sour apple, probably you have to put some sugar on later on because you don't want to have it too tart. Tart, red cabbage, rot coal, it's not my thing, it doesn't taste right. No, it doesn't. Probably have to get a bigger pot. Maybe, I'm not sure, we'll see about that. So now, let it sit and let it glaze some more, okay? Okay, now it is smelling very nicely. I can smell the onion, I can smell the apple in it, I can smell the bacon grease. So that is what you want. Put it all the way down. Try not to burn it, okay? So, and then you have some water. I use filtered water because I like to have my red cabbage sitting on it for quite some time. So now you're going to put it in. Put it all into your pot. By the way, it also tastes very well raw. I love that. It's a little fermented, a little tart, a little sweet. Mm. You hear that? Yeah, I gotta have a bigger pot. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, because usually, you know, this is enough for me. Greg is not a very um, big fan of uh, fan of red cabbage, but I like to eat this raw. So that's why I never use really a big pot. So I'm going to put this aside because I'm going to have it raw, okay? Or maybe I use it all up. Well, I, I, well, I got to change out the pots. So I switched out now um, my pots. And yes, because Holly is my friend who is the one, you know, who talked me into this YouTube channel. So um, I made yesterday and the day before the roulade. So she saw it and I promised her to give her also some red cabbage, some rot coal, like we make it in German tradition. So that way, you know, I can pass that on to her. And something else, side note, these jars, they are gold in my world, you know. Um, I put them into water and I take this off and you can store all kinds of beautiful things in it, like, like grease, like schmaltz, like all that kind of stuff, you know. So I want to wash it out with some water because we don't want to waste anything. Some people call me maybe stingy or so, I don't care. But um, I don't have money to waste, you know, so and then I'm going to toss that in here and let it sit. Now it's time for your for your spices here, right? The allspice and um, the grinded and gloves, gloves, cloves, cloves. Oh, that is such a hard word in English. Sometimes the, the, the English words, they don't come in my head. Cloves. Okay, then you mix it all around, you know, you're going to give it a good fat stir and um, you want to have it a little covered with some water. So I'm going to add some more water and let it sit and you can taste it in about 10, 15 minutes, you know. So some people, they say, you know what, root coal or red cabbage has to be burned once. Um, I agree. I like that. A lot of people, they say, oh, well, you know what, why well, that's, that's not right. But yes, it is very tasty. Actually, it brings this different flair to it. And I cannot explain why, but it's just how it is. So what you can do is, you know, when the water comes down, 
then you have it on high heat for maybe uh, two minutes or so and that gives gives this little burn in it remember on the rouladen i said it has to be seared they have to be nice and brown on both sides that is what you want on the red cabbage too and that makes it all softer so now it can sit here for probably 15 minutes or so on seven on medium heat you can cover it up which i will do and um, just a little kick so not too much that um, the liquid can go out so because i want to burn it later on a little so that you can see it but yeah so let's see in 15 minutes so 15 minutes are up Let's see what our rot coal red cabbage does. Okay, oh, this looks nice. You should smell my house. You can smell the allspice. You can smell the apples, the bacon, everything. Absolute wonderful. So now I'm gonna sample it. That's very hot. I like to add on that my balsamic vinegar, about a tablespoon. Um, I don't know what it does, but it has a different type of taste, which I like. So now, oh my God, I can't even talk. This is so good. So let's see. Mmm. Now that's good. Soft, a little crunchy, a little tart, a little sweet from the balsamic. And that goes even more in it. So I don't take out my bay leaves, I leave them in. So if you're a lucky one, you know, we always play that game when I was little. Whoever finds a, gay, a, a bay leaf in here gets a little present, you know, so that's kind of cute. That's what my grandma and my mom did to us. So this looks very nice. So let me plate it. So that is the end result. I like to, you know, when you have something so colorful and bright, I like to use a dish, you know, which is, um, which makes my, my, my food even pop more. So I'm using this white one and um, it's absolutely perfect. And I took out my bay leaves so that you can see it for decoration. But this is my red cabbage, my rot coal, like my grandma did, the short way, the shortcut. And it takes you about 30 minutes all the way. And look at this. And it smells Ha <laughs> ha, people. So, I would like for you to make it and try it and um, sample it and see. And do not forget, you know, to put some of the red cabbage or the root coal aside before you start cooking. That way you have comparison and you know what it tastes like before and how much better it tastes afterwards. Now, how do you pair this? You can use it to anything like um, schnitzel. You can have it with schnitzel. You can have it with goulash. You, it's kind of like a stew type thing. You can absolutely have it perfectly married with rouladen. Oh my God, so delicious, yeah. Anything on, on, on meats, you can actually have it. I would not pair it with chicken. It doesn't taste well with chicken, so I wouldn't do it. I would be going either way, you know, with um, frikadellen, you know, the German bulletin, the German um, hamburgers, you know, and I think I have made a video on bulletin too, frikadellen. Yes, I did. Yeah, go and check that one out too. You're going to like it. Don't forget to check out my um, rouladen video. Very, very interesting, and you are going to be intrigued. So for now, I like to say thank you for stopping by. Please like, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Like, like and subscribe and then leave me a comment and share that video with your friends so that they can start making it, you know. Don't just dump out the jar in pot and heat it up. That's not tasty. <laughs> it's much better this way, trust me. So I like to say thank you and I'll see you later, alligator. Cheers. Oh, and then I'm going to do now the potato dumplings. I'm not sure if I can make it today because time-wise, but probably tomorrow, potato dumplings, half and half from potatoes. Mwah! So, see you later. Tschüss. Bye-bye.